documents in the workers' village that proves the workers were paid. The documents and the workers' bones lead Hawass to conclude that each pyramid was built in about 20 years by 20,000 Egyptian workers. The workers were motivated by nationalism and had the benefit of emergency medical treatment. One important evidence also that the workmen were not slaves is the examination of the bones. If they were slaves, they would never do a brain surgery. As the builder of the first pyramid, Imhotep may have treated injuries suffered by workers and presided over the world's first trauma center. Hippocrates, the Greek who was recognized as the father of modern medicine, lived in the fourth century BCE. But there is evidence that Imhotep, 2,000 years before Hippocrates, was practicing modern medical techniques. Dr. Hamdi el Rafay, a physician and professor of ancient Egyptian medicine at the American University in Cairo, believes Imhotep may have authored the world's first medical treatise. Here, in a Cairo marketplace, Dr. Hamdi is using an ancient Egyptian manuscript to search for ingredients Imhotep may have prescribed. Ancient Egyptian medicine contained large doses of magic, but many of the treatments were scientifically valid and effective. Chief among them was the widespread use of honey as an ingredient in the dressing used to treat wounds. <laughs> 